All right, I've had this coyote hanging in the shop for just a few days. Um, what I'm looking for to make sure it's dry enough is I like to feel that base, that tail. And if I feel that kind of act like it's real stiff or kind of crackly, I know I'm close to being done. This is not quite where I want it to be. What I can do to speed that process up is I go ahead and take these pins out. You can see these ears are nice and stiff when we take that cartilage out or if we split them, they dry out real fast, they're gonna hold their shape. What I simply do, since we've released this from the binder clips, we don't have anything holding them. Now from the base of the tail, make sure pins are released. Sometimes with these aluminum push pins, the heads will actually fall out and you gotta go back and just take the actual pin out. But I'll loosen this board just a little bit. I'm just gonna have it come off the board that far. Tighten it back up. Find your clips back on. And I'm gonna hang it from here. What that's gonna allow that to do is we're gonna get good airflow up here around the lips. We're gonna get good airflow up by the head. And we've broken, broken that seal that was kind of holding that leather side to the wood. Now that seal is broken, we're gonna get better airflow all the way around the pelt. So if you're short on boards, you're short on time, that'll remove, that'll take probably a whole day off of your drying time. So hang this back up, get the airflow going. By tomorrow, I'll pull this whole thing off the board and I'll keep the air going with no stretcher in. And by that, I can speed that process up a bunch. I keep my shop about 50 degrees. I don't like it too hot, don't like it too cold. Um, Certainly it could be warmer, they'll dry faster, but when I'm thawing critters out, I don't want it you know, overly hot. If I'm working out here a lot, I like it cooler, so it um, burns a little less propane, so I just keep, keep it a nice, even 50 degrees. Um, I know guys that run wood stoves and that type of stuff, and they'll get it you know, 80 degrees in there, and then the stove will die out, and it'll get down to 30, 40 degrees in some of these spaces. So that fluctuation to me, I think is, is harder on the process versus just a nice steady temperature and airflow. You can do a lot of work with airflow. Uh, I feel like that's more important than the temperature.